Let's go. Big girls need love too. Let's get it. What's up guys? So I just got done fucking shit up 
on the legs. And Chris Jones, physique's a greatness style. You can see for yourself. But yeah, guys, uh, I just showed you a couple clips. Obviously, didn't show you guys the whole workout. Just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. And I actually just got done training on this field right here. Just got done doing some, you know, speed and agility drills. But I didn't have anybody to record that for me. But I'm gonna try to get that up for you guys soon because. Now, as I said before in my earlier videos, if you guys haven't seen it before, I'm training for this brand new NSFL football league. It's basically a spring football league, kind of like a minor league for the NFL guys. So, if you guys want to know more about it, uh, subscribe and I'll take you guys on my journey. And I also have training programs to offer as well on this channel to you guys because I'm also a personal trainer. So, yeah guys, join up, subscribe, like it, share. All right. What's up, YouTube? It's Andre Williams, Fast Twitch Phenoms. Just chilling, man. Laying down on the couch right now, watching a little TV. Watching this movie, Mud, with Matthew McConaughey in it. Pretty good movie right now, but... Uh, yeah, so as you guys saw, man, I was in the gym today. Did it hit me some legs pretty hard. Uh, hopefully you guys like it, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You know, it was pretty intense today. Pushing some good weight, guys. You know, I haven't really squatted, you know, heavy in about two months, so that's actually pretty good for me. I was actually, if you guys couldn't see, it was doing three, was it 325? Yeah. And then for my last set, I took it up to 330, so it's pretty good for not really squatting heavy in like two months or so. So yeah, I definitely feel my strength coming back. This is like my second week, guys. And then I also did some deadlifts. I was doing 315 with that. I don't usually really do deadlifts that much, but sometimes I like to incorporate it, you know, just to hit the, the hammies and the glutes and stuff. You know, so I was just doing 315, and that was a good, good weight for me. I was doing about six reps. Yeah, for both those uh, lifts, though, I did uh, four sets each, about five to six reps. So yeah, and then we did um, we did some lunges, and then after that, right, like we supersetted it with lunge jumps. Real good exercise for explosive explosiveness in your legs, and you know just get the fast twitch muscles firing in the legs, guys. And as you can see in the video, if you pay close attention. You can see, you know, I'm trying to focus on pushing through my heel. And that really activates the hammies and the glutes, which is what I want. And then we did the reverse hyperextensions. It's not the actual machine, but, you know, I kind of improvised on it, you know. You know, you got to use what you can. Use what you got. You're not, you're not always going to have the equipment needed, but you just got to get creative in the weight room, man. Just do what you can. So yeah, basically I used the glute ham uh, machine and then, oh let me turn this shit down, it's, it's getting a little loud, let me turn this off real quick. Alright, yeah, so, basically did it, used the glute ham raise machine, put the weights, like put them in one of those chain, I don't know what you call it, those chain link things. Like looped a couple 25s in there and then just hooked it around my ankles and then just did the reverse hyper movement exercise. Did that for about three sets of 15. Real good exercise for the posterior chain as well. You guys should try it out. And then finally we ended it with the glued ham raise. And I actually recorded two different versions of it. First one I did was just like halfway down. And then up. And then the other one was all the way down and up, and that's a great one to really get the hammies firing. You know, it's kind of a quicker movement, so you go down and up. It's kind of usual momentum a little bit more, so really, you know, you really have to fire your hamstrings fast and strong and powerfully to get up from that down position. So, yeah, guys, so that was pretty much my workout. You know, I was in there doing my thing, and like I said, in the other uh, video, I also did my uh, speed and agility training earlier. I couldn't record it for you guys, but I'll definitely get that out to you guys soon. You know, I'll definitely get some uh, 
some uh, speed training videos out for you guys soon as well. So I figure why not end the video POG style. So don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, holla back at your boy.